She's been in the news lately. She's an artist and founder of what is probably the only museum in the country devoted to nuts. And it's located in Old Lyme, Connecticut. Would you welcome, please, Elizabeth Tastian. Okay. Nice to have you here. Did I pronounce your last name correctly? Perfectly. Tastian? Yes. Yeah. Now, I mentioned that when people say nut museum, you get all the jokes immediately, I suppose. Oh, yes. Uh, the double meaning of the word nut. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> And there is Plus. a... When did that first start? Do you know? Did you ever trace that back, why they refer to people who are a little off the wall as nuts? Well, um, we could hark back to from 1102 to 952 B.C. Really? Yes, way back there. According to Egyptian mythology, there was a sky goddess, a lady of heaven named Nut. I didn't know So that. I say, I say that right. it may be the earliest personification of Nut. Yeah. The association of Nut to person. But you're talking about... Nut nuts. I mean, well, I mean, uh, real nuts. Yeah, there are all kinds of nuts, yeah. really. Uh, but, why did you just? Uh, <laughs> why? Uh, why did you decide to have a museum? May I call you Elizabeth? Yes, you may. Now, why did you decide to have a museum for, for nuts? Well, I wish to establish the entity of the nut through art, music, history, and lore. And uh, you'd be surprised. Nuts are more than snack treats. They're treats to the soul. I didn't In know. fact, they've been. Uh, uh, inspiring me to paint nuts and uh, uh, erase the demerit mark off nuts. Right. You could go even that far. You think nuts have been getting well, kind of bad Well, America nuts and... well enough. <laughs> In a way, right? You're trying to lift the nut from exactly. the... Exactly. Sure. It, it, Stature deserves. To, that's right. America likes nuts well enough to name streets after them. That's right. And even well, Of course, people, Walnut, that's you know, probably the Hazel, most popular names. Yes. A child is named Hazel. Right. And, um... You'll find during the uh, intercourse that they are valuable. We'll probably play a major role there. Uh, I guess you by now know I'm a spokeswoman for the nuts. Well, it's, 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 you're certainly right there. How many different kinds of. How many different kinds of nuts are there, Elizabeth? Um, Give or take a... Well, go to the library. About 128. I didn't realize. 128. Yes, that, I mean, grow on trees. Mm -hmm. and, uh, are there nuts that grow in the ground? <laughs> yes, there are some that grow in the ground. There's one that's called the lousy nut. Mm -hmm. And it is an earth chestnut, and it grows underground. We um, have a number of nuts that have a tuber-like. Uh -huh. Why don't we take a look at some of uh, some of the nuts All that right. you brought here? <laughs> this is this is this is fascinating. I'm really not that. Yes, people have slighted nuts all this while, well, and I'm, I'm done, giving I'm them guilty their of it. Due. I'm guilty of it myself. All right. This is the way the Brazil nuts grow. They are seeds of a fruit uh -huh. that grows wild in the Amazon jungle. Now, eight to twenty-four are pocketed in these pods, mm -hmm. according to size. I see. Oh, and, uh, and you break that open, we won't do it now. Well, never mind. I think it's broken enough. Oh, yes. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> it's, it's cracked I, enough. I, would, I, wouldn't, right. I wasn't going to open it, Elizabeth. Okay. But anyway, we're cracking smiles. I can see uh, that on this nut subject. You're right. Well, um, you must get this all the time, though, people. Yes, I'm used to it. I'll bet I'm you. hardy. Okay. Uh, by now. What is it's this? nine and a half that looks years. Like a huge, that this. looks like a huge acorn. Now, you see how uh, someone took the same pod and shaved it a bit. Mm hmm. And you get the, uh, it looks like an object of art. It looks like a ceramic piece. Sure does. Is that the Nuts same? are beautiful. Yes, they are. Okay. And now here we have another nut that is a seed. The cashew is the seed of the cashew pear or the cashew apple. Both terms are acceptable. Mm -hmm. And this is the actual skin uh, of the cashew. It has another one, and between those two skins right. is a juice they make plastic and synthetic rubber from. So I didn't know that. I yes. know that nuts are very good for you, most of them, right? They're high in protein and... Yes, but I go beyond that, that um, they can inspire one. Um, in, in, what, fact, what, in what way? Well, the holidays are coming up pretty soon, and some people may feel lonely not being invited out to parties, but I feel that you can never be lonely when you have nuts around. <laughs> The mere cracking of nuts spells party. The mere cracking of the nuts spells party. The mere cracking of party. nuts spells yeah. party. You got it's it. a deluxe playmate. You're absolutely right. <laughs> so when lonely, just go out and gather and just, some nuts and. Yes, crack nuts. Well, you might like to start cracking nuts. I certainly this one. would, because I'm very lonely. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> As a nutcracker, well, right? Well, that's not the one. I think I'd love to have a nutcracker about eight feet tall. What would you do for with that? For children uh, to use as a slide. Oh, I see. Yes, between my two black walnut trees, there is a, a, a bit of nut trees growing. Uh -huh. I'd um, have them walk up here. Right. Um, pick, a, let's say, a black walnut if the right. squirrels haven't gotten at it. And make a slide it. out of it. That's right. And then go through the mouth like a tunnel and do their stunt. And if in the, the children, and if the children act up, you just close the well, slide. Well, never mind. Or... I won't go that far. Okay. All right. What else do we have here? Let's see. This is the beetle nut. The beetle nut. Yes. And it's the chewing gum for the people in the Orient. There are 40 different ways you can swing your jaw on this nut. 47 40. ways you can swing sometimes your jaw? Sometimes with coconut, sometimes with tobacco. Is that, is, can you get a high from that? Well, only if I've heard... you wrap, that's right. Yeah. Only if you wrap it up in the beetle pepper plant leaf that's moistened in lime. Right. Then the havoc, it becomes the poor man's opium. Right, that's what I've But heard. not if you uh, chew the nut alone. Ah. Or with the coconut, the other in 40 different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, to show you how nuts are beautiful, um, here are some works that are done. This okay. is done by the Cherokee Indians. Oh, that is nice. And um, a bracelet, bisection of the black walnut and the butternut. That's very pretty. Again, I say nuts are beautiful. Oh, we do, we're getting a little run out of time here. Yes, all right, to, now I let's see. I want you to tell me oh, what this yes, is. Oh, yes, yes. I saw this back here. Uh, I'm... Wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> This is... Is that a real... Yes, this is a, a real nut. It's a, <laughs> it is a double coconut, and it, and it grows on palm trees that stretch up 100 feet. You're never feet. alone if you have this nut. <laughs> never alone. Right? <laughs> yeah. That was me. Um, uh, I'm challenging Darwin's theory on this nut. Uh -huh. I'm saying out with apes and in with nuts. Out with apes, in with nuts. Yes. I like yes. that. It's catchy. Well, uh, <laughs> 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 it took 10 years to grow and weighs 35 pounds. And what yes. is the name of this officially? Double coconut. Double coconut. Yes. And um, I might say that its pollinization is most unique. In fact, um, legend takes over. But I won't get into that on this one. Okay, we're gonna have to take a break, yes. but we're coming right back. There we are.